Hey, Daily Dosers, this is Pastor Larry here, and uh, we're taking a look at things that, well, uh, everybody thinks it's in there, but that's not in the Bible. Uh, and the one I want to take a look at today is this idea that everything happens for a reason. Uh, I hear it in all kinds of quotes, especially people who have either a, a deep faith in, in the Lord and actually know Him, or, or maybe just a little bit of religiousness to Him, all, all the way to either extreme. When something really bad happens, there's this uh, statement that people say, well, you know, everything happens for a reason. Uh, but, you know, the Bible doesn't really say that. Uh, the verse that they're quoting always is Romans 8, 28. Let me read that to you. Uh, and uh, it, it reads this way. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. It doesn't say everything happens for a reason. And it doesn't say everything that happens is actually good. Uh, even ultimately good. No, in this fallen world, evil happens. Uh, our enemy pulls off some short-term victories. But what we know is in the midst of everything that God takes even the, what I like to say, damnable Friday and turns it into Good Friday. Uh, and, and what our Lord does is he, he takes everything and when all history is done and the entire story is told, People look back and go, man, that's a good story. Yeah, it has bad moments, whatever, but all of God's purposes and will was carried out. But the promises in this passage isn't for all humanity. The promise is we know that in everything that happens, the good and the bad, God is at work for those who love him and those who are called according to his purpose. You see, if I'm called according to his purpose, that means I'm called into his family. And those that love him, Jesus told us exactly what that is. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. So if I'm a Jesus follower, if I'm a, a son of the king, a daughter of the king, a genuine disciple, and the pattern of my life is walking in obedience, then with great confidence I can know that God is at work in all things, and even the bad he's going to turn around and bring some good out of. But this idea that, well, everything happens for a reason is almost fatalistic, like, well, well, it had to happen. And maybe you've gone through this in your own life, or you know some people like I do who've gone through it, where uh, they uh, maybe did something really wrong and very sinful. Uh, I, I, I think of somebody that uh, got involved in an affair, and uh, they, they left their uh, wife and uh, got into a marriage uh, with somebody, and then a few years later came to Jesus, uh, and then the new wife came to Jesus, and God has blessed them with an incredible family. And we were talking one time, and it was almost like, well, you know, that divorce happened for a reason. As if God wanted him to do the wrong thing so God could create the right thing. And it's like, no, no, that's not what happens. We have a God of grace and mercy who steps in and takes evil and takes bad and works good out of it. But I sat him down and I said, wait a minute, what about all of these consequences that continue to this day in your life because of that? You see, because God brings good out of evil doesn't mean the evil was good or necessary. And this idea that everything happens for a reason, that's what's kind of behind it. Uh, you know, I don't ever say this out loud. I'm not sure maybe I should say this even now, but here goes. Sometimes when I hear people say, well, everything happens for a reason, I want to say, well, yeah, and the reason is you did a really stupid thing. Or the reason is you didn't get any advice. Or the reason is you chose to walk in the path of sin with your eyes wide open. And that's why this has happened to you. Not because God is up there going, well, I need this to happen. So yeah, ultimately, I guess you could say everything happens for a reason, but it's not the reason we think of that, oh, God needed this to happen. Uh, we have a God though, when we walk in obedience and we are part of his family that we can find great confidence in. Uh, I just recently preached a message in which I talked about our God being good and our God being sovereign. And as a Jesus follower walking in obedience, you can hang your hat on that. In all things, good and bad, God works for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Now that's in the Bible.